all of us have parts of ourselves that we wish would just go away. Like that part of you that's unmotivated, that part of you that overeats, that undereats, that restricts your eating. Part of you that uh, thinks about self-harm, thinks about suicide. What do we do with those thoughts? Well, the first instinct would be to push them away, right? Just to avoid them altogether. But when you do that, you realize that it's like you're leaving part of yourself over there too. Like there's something essential. There's a need that's being attended to in those behaviors. Maybe not successfully, maybe not in a way that's healthy, but at least the emotional pressure is being relieved. And uh, maybe you look for a healthy behavior, right? You try to find something to replace it with. You learned how to cope and maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe there's a, an emotional hunger underneath that still isn't being attended to. And when that happens, that's a signal to me that there might be a wound underneath. That maybe what we're dealing with isn't just a behavior that needs change, it's a wound that needs healed. And maybe if that wound was healed, these behaviors wouldn't be needed because uh, there's no need to relieve the pain.